interest in it. Just like there's a lot more interest in fly fishing and everything, which is pretty cool to see. Yep. Um, kind of going from there. Do you want to want to dive right into this 2018 buck? Yeah, so, let's hear the story. Yeah. To get into that, so yep. when Isaac brought your name up to me for this podcast, mm-hmm. as I wasn't sure who you were, I hadn't heard your name, but as soon as he sent me the picture of you with your 2018 bug, I said, oh, I've seen that a lot. I remember back when you got that thing, it was getting shared around a lot because it's, it's a yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of take us into that. How did that go down? Everything from, from how you found the deer scouting, if you scouted it, or uh, yep. everything, the day, the, the track, the terrain, everything. Yeah, so uh, it, it's funny. The story is actually, I'd, I'd like to describe it as in reverse with this deer, so I'll, I'll, I'll explain that later. But um, yeah, I, I actually wasn't aware of the deer or anything. I actually started not using cameras I, I use them a little bit now but more just for fun yep. you know um but uh you know i grew up just kind of again hiking around and i had a bunch of spots on a list uh, that i wanted to check out for tracking and over the years i did i tracked some deer um i, I tracked with a longbow for a couple of years uh, oh man. yeah just, just start out like get my kind of tracking chops if you will you know yep. you know uh-huh. Confidence is pretty low, but at least I could, you know, during you know the right time of the season, say, because I didn't have a muzzle loader or early bow, if we would get snow, I'd go out and track. So with a longbow. With the longbow, yeah. Nice. So nice. and I, I currently do it with a recurve, and I'm, I'm really dead set on. I've, I've had a lot of close opportunities really? with a rifle, and I'll, I'll tell you more about that. This this deer was <laughs> one of those, yep. but um, yeah. So I I, I basically started out. Um, you know, doing that, getting my tracking down, uh, you know, when I could, early season. Um, and then eventually, you know, 2018 was definitely the year where I, you know, I felt the most confident. I had gotten deer in 2017 on bare ground. We didn't have a lot of tracking snow. Um, I shot the deer early, I think, later in the season we got some. But, uh, you know, 2018, I was I was rearing and ready to go. And then, you know, when I finally got the snow, I think it was the first week, uh, you know, it was... Um, I think the fourth day of the, the rifle season, um, this deer uh, was in a piece of land I was very familiar with. Um, I grew up, it was, you know, almost backyard status. Uh, it, it was very uh, familiar, but at the same time, you know, I, I knew there was guys back there. It was kind of one of those spots where, you know, you could go for a while, but you could also kind of hang close. Um, and there was a lot of guys that hung close, so. Um, but basically it was, it was a very classic tracking day. The, the snow was light, fluffy, uh, definitely, you know, track. If you stepped in, you could see contour of your boot, um, pretty good detail. So, um, I knew it was a good day. I actually parked my car and I do a lot of this. I'll, I'll park my car at one spot and I'll have my, you know, my pops pick me up somewhere else or, you know, my, I have a hunting yep. family now at this point, my sister hunts and stuff and her boyfriend and such. So. You know, we can kind of get rides if needed. So yeah, yeah. I kind of planned on that. I packed a lunch, packed everything I needed, um, set out for my car, hiked probably about three or four miles. I saw a bunch of, you know, kind of barnyard scenarios. There's a ton of tracks. And yeah. you know, I was trying to sort things out, find something that's worth following. And I got to a certain point, and I saw this one big track, and then, you know, I was hitting mushrooms. And I saw this one tree where it looked like a moose had climbed up and eaten these mushrooms. I mean, it was like almost like seven eight feet up it was like really? crazy yep. high and i was like oh my god like this is <laughs> this yep. is a big deer yeah and, and i mean the, the print obviously the the track was huge yeah, so. big old foot big old foot i mean it was you know yeah. I, I i'll talk to you more i, I don't have a, a real big shell i have a, a, a hunted 260 so yep. you know when i lay that in and it just drops to the bottom <laughs> that's yeah, how i know yeah. i'm like all right let's go but yeah um so Saw that track, but it just kind of was in and out of all this other, it was just a mess. So I was like, all right, let me just keep going. I'll see if he pops out in this one spot. And sure enough, I keep going and, you know, I saw him come out, but then he went back into the mess and, you know, it was just real thick stuff, kind of nighttime cover where they hang at night. They'll come back up and, you know, go bed up up higher. So I uh, kept going and I just, I got to this little stream, this little, I mean, two and a half, three foot wide stream, real small, no name, nothing, just a trickle coming off a mountain. And uh, I just got the feeling he probably went up towards that, but, you know, a couple hundred yards up further. So I go up, you know, probably about 50, 60 yards off this log road, and next thing you know, I I see the track, and it's all by itself. He's kind of wandering, he's feeding. Mm -hmm. Snow's coming down still, it's real light, and the track has nothing in it. I'm talking like nothing, so I'm like, oh my god, this so deer's it was close. So it was snowing the whole morning, you're Snowing the whole morning. Okay. And let me let me back up a little bit. There was a there was a fucking snowmobile 
cruising around and we're talking early season this is november yeah. there's usually yeah. no snowmobilers yeah. out I'm like oh my god this guy and he blows right through my zone so oh i'm like you're not supposed to snowmobile where i am either like yeah. it's not it's like hiking trails and stuff and i don't know this guy was like out of his backyard just like must have gotten a new sled or something he was having fun and right it's like all right whatever so i i actually ate a sandwich and just let it chill out and, and you know so i kept going after that and that's you know when i got that uh tributary i came up on i was like all right let me just cruise up here he's, he's probably gonna use this you know um a lot of the big bucks like to bed near some water source so mm -hmm. so i cruised up and next thing you know yeah i, I found that track real fresh snow's coming down <clears throat> excuse me oh yeah i cruise up a little bit longer and took a picture i just pulled my phone out hand you know next to the track send it to my pops i'm like i want a good one this is sweet i'm, yeah. I'm psyched so uh and he gets back to me immediately it's nice and you know good luck whatever so i keep going and you know i'm, I'm on this deer for i don't know probably about 10 minutes or so and i'm cruising and i see this big pile of boulders and i'm like all right this is, this looks like a spot i could see a buck bed and there's some water over to the right Got some rocks, so I'm cruising up, and next thing you know, boom, the deer comes up. Oh. <laughs> that quick. How far was he? <sighs> Eight yards. Oh, that close. my goodness. Oh, man. That's you're, close. Hunting, you're hunting up at him? Up, up. So. uphill. So, I, and what I'm doing is I'm, you know, I, I don't weigh that. I'm like 150 pounds. I can right. go quiet. So, the, I'll get into that later. I, I've gotten close to a lot of deer. That one, that's the closest I've been to, and, and I could see when he stood up, I saw the steam come out of his nose, wow, and I was wow. like, holy shit. Bet you'll just, never forget that. It's just the bone. Like, he's yeah, just yeah. racked, yeah, you, know? Yeah. Just, you know? Like, it's just the whitest rack, so that's, you know, up yeah. against, you know, kind of a darker, yeah. there was some some uh, spruce behind him and, and some hardwood and stuff. I mean, it just stood right out. Yeah. So that was the first thing I saw, and he, he's out of it. I mean, he I popped him right out of his bed. So I throw the gun up, and it's it's snowing so i have a, I have a scope uh, i'm all fogged up i got water it, it, it's a mess yep. Yep. so my like, guy and i did what you were talking about earlier i kind of give a look at the you know real thing i go back to the scope real thing I'm like, all right and he's just sitting there he's about to take off i'm like i gotta make the move and i'm just as steady as i can take my shot and, and he takes off and you know there's no sign of me hitting him i mean i, I I was on him, but it was just such a mess again in the scope. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty good with it. I used to ski a lot, and my goggles will get all, you know, screwed up. And I'm yeah. kind of used to that. So I, I was pretty confident I got him. But So I, I went up to where he was, and, you know, he was right up by a big pine. He, he'd actually had his back down slope towards me, and, and he was facing towards this pine, which was really kind of a weird scenario. I figured he'd be the other way. Um, so maybe he, wasn't, back. he wasn't looking down at you? No, he was looking kind of up. Like That's He popped up and turned around to see what I was. He just had no so idea he did like a little 180. Yeah. He had no idea. No, he heard something. I, I think I maybe like, you know, like, <clears throat> like something like that. Like yeah, it was yeah. something like I cleared my throat and he, and he popped out. Like there was no, wow. it was the perfect snow. It was dead quiet. Yeah. So he maybe heard me breathe. Like it was, it was, that's why he didn't, you know, I think bolt. Um, so anyway, yeah, I went up and I saw no blood at first. So I'm like, oh man, heart sunk. Oh, I, I was, I was devastated. Yeah. So I called my pops right away. I didn't take any moves. I just stopped. I was like, you know what, this deer's if if he was just kind of dazed, whatever. He's gonna be probably right over the next hill, wondering what the hell that was. He yep. just was had a dream. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah, I kept going, and I called my pops. I was like, I shot at a giant, blah, blah, blah. He's like, all right, stay on it. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to go see what's up. And kept going, and I'm on the phone with him, and I have my phone out, and I see blood. I was like, oh, man, I got blood. So I put my phone in my pocket, and I just tear off. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, at that point, decided, you know, if I hit him, it might not have been a great shot. I don't. It, again, the scope was such a, a crapshoot, so... I kept on him, I went up, and I, I see him, and he's just, he's up there, and he's just, he didn't look good. He was right. standing there, kind of like looking back, I was like, all right, I think I did get a good hit on him, just not a lot of blood, probably big animal, yep. 260, whatever, yep. pass right through. Um, you know, I use the core lock, so it's like, those are, you know, they, they 
they usually do the trick. Um, so I come up and I, I, I see him looking back at me and I take another shot and I think it, I, I got him like right on the side because I, I hit him a couple times. I got him, I think I grazed his stomach or something mm -hmm. and he took off after that. So then I chased him again and he hadn't dropped and he's looking back at me again and I shoot him and I hit him and he hunches up and he still doesn't drop and I rack one more time. I, I have a, a bolt action. Yeah. And I'm pretty quick with it, but you know, I, I had all the time in the world. And the last shot I drop him, I just he's facing away from it. He just crumples and okay. Yeah, so it was one of those scenarios where, you know, I I, uh, I I it happened so quick to me. It felt like probably uh, you know, 10 minutes, but I think it was probably a matter of 3 to 4 minutes. It just uh, happens. That's the way it yeah. goes. That's the way it goes down. The, the adrenaline place. was flowing. It was flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made that call. My pops, he actually didn't know. He was on the phone the whole time. He didn't hear the shots. He oh, heard really? me rustling around a little bit. I, yeah. I just I pulled the phone out to tell him. I just dropped him, and, yeah. and uh, he was there still. But he yeah. was like, what just happened? I was like, I just got him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Out of that point? Yeah, because I, you know, I hadn't actually gotten, I got one deer before that solo, and you know, I, I got a fair amount of deer with him, a couple deer, and, and uh, that was the thing. I was excited because, uh, you know, it was a big buck, and he yeah. wasn't there, so he yeah. came right out and helped me, and one of his buddies ended up helping too. So, but uh, yeah, it was great, and he came out and took this photo right here, actually. And yep, that's the first photo right there. That was yeah, that was the first one. Yep. So that's awesome. Yep. No. How far away was that that last that's shot awesome. that dropped? How far out were you from? Uh, I was probably about 30 yards, I would oh, say. Okay. So, you, so your first shot, where did you hit him that first shot, you think? First shot, I think, went clean through him. I think okay. it was it was perfect Just vitals oh, uh, through the shoulder. Down, yeah, yeah. Double long or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely, he, he was so, as soon as he knew something was wrong, he was gone. Yep. He didn't know what happened. Uh, my scope was, again, in, in rough shape. I, I was pretty confident I got him, but it wasn't 100%, so... Um, it was it was kind of that that slight bit of hesitation with the you know having the uh, equipment issues that, yeah. that I wasn't sure so I, I you know right. I didn't want to take off but you know I, I had a feeling he was hit good. Yeah. But so. you uh, you noticed he was feeding. Yep. On the track and that's when you started to sneak on him. Like yeah, really he slowed down. He was definitely doing the zigzag. He yeah. was all over the place. So you knew he was gonna lay down it was and, classic and it was zigzag when i picked yeah, him up yeah. and then it was beeline so i knew and then he started the, which was funny because uh this buck was not that way at all um, really? that was a, a long track so um but you know i have heard the stories of you know guys picking up tracks quick and shooting the deer 10 minutes later so oh, yeah. I, I was ready for yeah. it i wasn't like oh this isn't a possibility you know like, i was fully prepared so, especially yeah. given that it was you know he was eating the mushrooms earlier right. he was down in this nighttime kind of area and he, and he was rolling up so Oh. I was going to ask about that. So he fed down low with mushrooms, and then he went up a little little trickle? Went straight up yeah, he kind of beelined it right up the, you know, you, you got to yeah. think. I mean, he, he ate some food. He wanted to wash it down. He wanted to go right. to bed. Yeah. And yeah. That was kind of it. So um, a lot of deer do that. Your, uh, this year's uh, buck I got was uh, a prime example, same thing, right by a, a small little trickle. Yep. yep. Yeah. Huh. I've so. seen a lot of big bucks in particular feed on mushrooms. Yeah, like yeah, big ones. I'm glad you you picked up on that. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. oh yeah, yeah, and off rocks and yeah. or, um, logs and. I see those yeah. little orange ones off those laydowns. Yeah, they love those little orange ones. They yeah. do, yeah. The big, or even the big white ones, yep. like off. That's yep. yeah. It seems to tree, be like the trees and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yep. The ones that look the least edible. Like exactly. The really, yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't know the name of them, but uh, they're kind of, they have like a burgundy color to them almost. And then they, sometimes they are like orange, orange but orange. yeah, they come like the fresh ones, you know, like, uh, you know, the ones we eat, it seems like they don't really care for them, which no, is weird, yeah, you yeah. know, they, they seem to, I guess it's almost like a, like an age, like a root cellar type deal, you know, they're, they're always yep. there, they're, they're ready to, you know, yep. consume and they don't rot, you know, yep. so maybe... Would, would you say that was the biggest track you ever you followed up to this date? His foot was that big, or have you followed You know, it's one? I've I've tracked some other deer that are. Very and what did he dress yeah. out at? I don't think you said. Uh, two twelve. Two twelve. He dressed 212. out at. Yep. So. That's a big old buck. Yeah, and his piece. I think yeah, you're sitting on a jacket with the patch. That's oh, become yeah. my lucky jacket there. So yep. it's yep. Yep. Cool. Uh, yeah. So it's patch. you know, yeah, yeah. Awesome. It was cool. It was one of those things I uh rolled into the check station and they're like oh you got to do all this and i knew about it but i was like all right that's you know they're really pushing me and i'm, I'm glad i did it because 
yeah again it was kind of that first deer that right. you know i uh really uh the one the year before was like 170 something and i was like that's yeah. cool but i checked it out at a place that didn't have a a scene you know what i mean like yeah, it was yeah. a, a fire station yep. uh but you go to another place that's you know more of a traditional check-in station and and uh you know, I think even if it was 200 pounds and it was at the, the fire station, they probably wouldn't have urged me to do it. And so I'm glad I did it. And, uh, you know, it's just a cool thing because now it's you know, another goal. 